what's up guys what's up what's happening you know how it is can you guess where I'm at beautiful Jamaica all right so I'm here for Jamaica carnival so this is for all my people out there in the world you know I'm gonna start giving you the content from my homeland so welcome to Jamaica the land that we love so I landed in Montego Bay and I'm gonna take the north coast from Montego Bay to Kingston and along the way I'm gonna stop at some of my favorite spots to get snacks so my first stop today will be like maybe seven minutes from the airport Mobile Airport and I'm at Scotch's Jerk so if you're leaving in Montego Bay Airport heading to Ochi or Kingston I would recommend Scotchy very much for some jerk some good authentic jerk jerk pork jerk chicken all that good stuff but here today at Scotchy's I think I'm only gonna grab the food take it with me in the car and snack on it because I'm only having a little quarter chicken here because I really feel for seafood so I'm about to stop at Sharky Seafood to have dinner. All right, so I'm just gonna grab this snack here and then head towards Ocho Rios. I'm really continuing to Kingston, all right? And by the way, if you're watching the video right now, guys, please don't forget to give the video a like. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, all right? So I have an Airbnb in Kingston. Soon as I get there, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Also, so stay tuned for that. All right, now let me just go grab my jerk chicken here at Scottis. by the way I'm gonna show you around a little guys because you can actually eat here so but this is like where you order here and then look at that guys look at that it doesn't get any more authentic than that like the chicken is under this pork okay so this is pork look at that guys like straight smoke from the wood and that's the zinc cover and it's trapping the smokes and no, but here they got the chicken. No, guys, they also have like a nice little eating area here. Like a little natural courtyard here. Very nice. Nice and natural, you know. Touch huts and stuff. And a cool little bar here. So you, you do have place uh, space here to dine if you want to. But like I said, uh, my flight got delayed today and I have to get to Kingston before it gets dark so I can't sit and eat because I have to stop at Sharky's Seafood. So I'm gonna grab my quarter chicken here and then I'll see you guys on the road. Yeah guys, so that's Kachi's right there. So coming, so coming from the airport you actually have to make a U-turn to get to the Scotchies. But yeah, I just got like, I just got like a little bit of festival here and then some nice jerk chicken here and this is the best part about jerk chicken in jamaica guys the natural jerk sauce right here nothing better than this here no ketchup ketchup kill the flavor of your jerk chicken anyhow we're just gonna munch on this jerk chicken don't try this at home guys driving and eating so yeah we're gonna munch on this jerk chicken until we reach Sharky's seafood for now that's gonna be the next stop mm. it's not like jerk chicken in Jamaica man I know overseas a lot of people come close but not like it in Jamaica so yeah guys enjoy the b-rolls from the streets here in Jamaica catch you at our next stop no place like Jamaica guys best place on earth remember Marco J tell you that best food Best rivers, best beaches, best music, best parties, best people. Lovely Jamaica. You're still, still, still with This is the festival, guys. Even the festival is different in Jamaica. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Mmm. 
once again that catches guys real good jerk guys scotches has gotten so big they got smaller franchises now but i've been told by my family and friends that live here that at the smaller ones the food is not so good so make sure you go to the original ones where they they jerk in the chicken on the wood like i showed you earlier you know what i'm saying that's the real deal so yeah, enough of the talking. I'm gonna enjoy my food here. Some more while I drive towards Kingston. See you at the next stop. Welcome to Sharky's Seafood Restaurant, guys. In St. Anne's, Jamaica, by the way. Not that far from Ocho Rios. You could call it Ocho Rios because we're basically in Ocho Rios right now. But I think this is what? Runaway Bay? So, yeah, guys. Once you're traveling from Mobe to Ocho or to Kingston on Jamaica's North Coast Road, look for this sign here. That Sharky's Seafood Restaurant. Check it out. Yeah. So we're gonna have some real, real lobster, nice, tasty. Maybe, maybe grill, maybe curry, I don't know, but here we go. Wow, guys, this is nice. It's on the, it's right on the beach. It's actually my first time here, so but there's everybody raves and talks about this place i hope i get a, a seat on the ocean but look this is like the little check-in stand here got a bar over here and this is the dining area as you can see the ocean is in the back there but i'm gonna go to the sand shortly i'm just waiting on somebody to come seat me here Looks like we're gonna get to Kingston in the night time, so I'll probably give you guys a tour of my Airbnb in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's gonna be so dark. And you know, the GoPro doesn't do that well in the dark, so. So yeah, I'll just eat here, catch you guys in the morning when I give you the tour of my spot, all right? All right guys, change of plans. Because of the big delay we had with the flight today, I really was supposed to get to this place probably like at around 3.30 or 4.00. But because of the big delay with the flight today, I got I landed pretty late, so it's kind of dark now. And from here to Kingston is about an hour and a half drive. It's almost dark and they don't have any tables. They're saying I'll have to wait. So I think we're gonna scratch Sharkies. However, I highly recommend this place because I have, I've had family and friends that has in here and they all say the food is excellent. However, I will try my best to stop back through here before I leave. So we're gonna scrap this for today and then we're gonna head to Kingston. So maybe you guys get the Airbnb tour tonight or tomorrow. Whenever it is, catch you guys that time. Wow guys, morning, morning guys. I'm in Kingston, Jamaica. Yeah, man. Um, I was super tired. I slept all night last night, but it's bright out now. It's around 10 a.m. So I'm just gonna give you guys a tour like I officially said I was gonna do of this lovely, amazing Airbnb right here in Kingston, Jamaica. All right, let's get it, guys. Let's go. By the way, how you like the view, guys? Nothing but mountains. Beautiful green Jamaica, but yeah. Let's go check out the place, guys. Wow, guys, when you walk in, look at that, guys. You know what, let me turn some lights on so it gets even more crisp. But yeah, guys, that's the balcony. That's where I was. When you walk in, look at this space, man. 
nice very nice and clean you know this is the living room area you got the couch here extra chair dining table tv marco j videos playing aircon and that's the balcony where i was and by the way guys even though this seems super open they actually all have a blind so all you have to do is kind of like pull these chains here and, it, and it'll close it off if you want to close it off you know what i'm saying but i like the open feel you know the open vibe but yeah now over here guys is the kitchen and they have little sitting stools here and nice modern pendant drop lights it's very nice guys very nice very very nice but well, yeah look at this isn't that clean though guys look at this space man so clean and super modern very nice kitchen and i love white guys love love white white just feels light and clean and yeah so this is the living dining area again kitchen with the whole open feel you know the views there on the balcony very nice though guys by the way guys if you're watching the video right now drop a like and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe but yeah leave the comments in the comment section tell me what you think about this place so far you know all right so we're gonna walk into the bedroom now look at that guys aircon in the bedroom too as well nice very nice open view of the mountains from the windows and just like outside you can actually close this off with your blinds but look at this bed guys <laughs> i made sure i didn't sleep on it last night i slept in the couch just so i could give you guys a nice tour with the house looking as it was when i came here but look at that guys nice little table over here and stuff you know nice man come down this little hallway here they give you a closet space in here as you can see i have some clothes there from last night and this is the bathroom here guys check it out very nice clean modern you know and that's where i took a shower last night by the way so yeah man there you have it very nice guys right very very nice so guys this place here literally cost me about 214 dollars per night and that's gonna be inclusive of taxes cleaning fee and all that on airbnb but i'll definitely put a link in the description for this airbnb all right now this property guys also has like um a chill vibes courtyard i don't know what the term they give to it here but when you want some alone time it's really really nice that's on the fourth floor and then on the 10th floor i think you have the pool and the gym so i'm now on the 10th floor where the pool is check this out so it seems like on the other side of the building you got the ocean views here because my room is like on that side with the mountain views but look at this so gorgeous and here's the pool area very nice guys very very nice i like it i love this place really do it's sick so now i'm gonna show you guys that um alone time era or common era as they call it here and then yeah we're gonna hit the road yeah guys so i'm on the ground floor now this is what the common area looks like on the ground floor so it's just a just a lounge area when you want to have some me time not in the room that is you know
So yeah, let's really, really get on the road now. Yeah guys, welcome to the Via on Braemar Avenue here in Kingston, Jamaica. Super, super high-end luxury condominiums on Airbnb. Very, very nice guys. This is the building here from the outside. Fully 24 hour gated security, very nice. Yeah guys, so there you have it, we are at Mega Mart, let's see how much groceries selling for in Jamaica now, because I am not going to get a lot of stuff, so let's see what the bill going to be. Hi guys, so we're getting the Mega Mart Easter bun. May I go get our next brand still, you know? Get a little cheese too. All right guys, this bag of oranges are thousand Jamaican dollars. We're gonna add up everything and tell you how much I pay for everything here in USD. Well, they have some little June from here. I don't think it tastes good. Have to get these because I know for sure these are organic. Yeah guys, June plum that. Yes. You better believe that's organic. No preservative, no additives. And it's a native fruit too. Nothing hybrid. Drop that in there. So yeah guys, we found the local bananas from St. Mary. I don't know, unit price is saying 580 Jamaican, but I don't know 580 for what. But I'm gonna get this one here. Just so they don't go ripe too fast. Matter of fact, I could get it a little bit greener. But then I wanna start eating tomorrow, so this is good. All right, we got fruits now, we got to snack them, no. Yeah, guys, so you don't know where I forget the bread. So I get a national bread. Staple this in the country, no. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So I may look for you. Coconut. Guys, them here. Best cookies in the world, man. Coconut. Now what again? But the next flavor, they only have coconut. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. No, so where the butter? The butter is the yellow one. Oh boss, I only one flavor they're making at them, you know? Huh? Them not have the butter again or so. They make it man same way, but they probably I done it done. Yeah. Alright, respect. See that guys? The butter. That was actually my favorite. They're saying I just finish it. Finish. That's why I can only get the coconut, but I'll settle for these. That's cool. No worries. Yeah, guys. I get some chew juice, grape. By the way, this is 500 Jamaican dollars. We're getting the June plum. And we're getting a cranberry. Matter of fact, I think I need an orange pineapple or orange. Let's get an orange too. 100% no sugar added, you see me? Everything organic. Yeah, that was the juice there. I think I'm good on juice now. This is the beer that I love here. The Jamaican Sarrel beer, guys. This here, best beer. Nice. And the sorrel beer is 218, so six is gonna be 13 something or 12 something. Okay. Where, where are the waters? No, man, it's on me. This is the back. <laughs> where are the waters? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> what? This here. 
this guy is like 82 years old. He said, hold on there, hold on there. He don't want to be at the Kara. Dude, you're 82 years old, man. Like, I'm pretty sure if he was wanted, they would have catch you already. You're 82. Like, come on, bro. The camera is not going to hurt you, man. <laughs> the guy was like, hold on there, hold on there. I'm like, Bleh. The camera can't do nothing to you, brother. So we'll get one, maybe two waters for now. If I run out, I'll come back, you know? And then I'll get a couple small bottles just in case. I want to bring a few on the road with me too. Okay. What's next? All right, I guess I'll get these mini Kellogg's cornflakes. I don't usually do cereal, but when I do, I just do the simple plain things. Cause all these stuff got a lot of sugars in them but this little box here is like 200 jamaican dollars which is like a uh, dollar 50 maybe so i'll get three because i'll probably do this two or three times while i'm here thank you ma'am mm -hmm. oops haven't had a supplement in a long time i'll just grab one all right guys so this is what i'm walking out with six cereal beers one bread two small waters two big ones the banana two of these four little packs of these things the orange the cheese three well four big juices two small ones condensed milk supplegen whole milk and the bun let's see how much this is gonna cost yeah guys this is my little stack here this here and this here and i didn't know i have to weigh the banana so the lady went back with it to weigh them so let's see what the damage is gonna be wow guys i must say the service here is immaculate i have like three different people packing up this little bit of groceries here check this out it's a great team effort awesome for that i would recommend mega mark just for that so yeah my tab was 11,365 jamaican dollars yeah guys see this little bit of grocery here 11,500 jamaican that are probably like um let's work it out right now 11,300 divide by what's the rate 154 so we're just going to 150 75 dollars guys us dollars for this little bit of grocery here but i mean to be honest it's not bad because in america this same amount would have probably be i don't know maybe 40 bucks 45 dollars so a little bit a little bit more expensive but you know that is Jamaica or maybe maybe 50 bucks I don't know but still this little bit of grocery here should not cost 75 US dollars but hey it is what it is man gotta survive so right now at my airbnb i will have snacks tea and a little starter breakfast if i want to whether that be fruits or tea and bread or some cornflakes you know because i'm not a big cereal man but when i do i just do the natural cornflakes nothing additive none of them sweet sweet stuff you know but yeah guys back in the car we go we're done with the little grocery run I think we're now gonna go to lunch and I'm looking to go to Devon house because I really don't feel for anything heavy today I want something light but a lot of people talk about juicy patties and moderate patties but I will tell you something Devon house has some very very good patties too very unique looking patties I hope they're still good I haven't had it in maybe two years but they have a shrimp patty and a curry goat patty that is just so let's go to Devon house if you know about Jamaica you will know that bun and cheese is very big 
in our culture that's what we do in easter we don't easter egg hunt we eat bun and cheese that's what we do in jamaica but yeah see you at devon house guys wow guys look at this this is the courtyard here in devon house but we're just trying to get to the restaurant i don't know which one of these buildings are but we're gonna get it it's nice over here though nice and natural it's nice over here but i'm going here devon house bakery that's where we're gonna get the nice curry goat patty and shrimp patty best man these patties too they look different by the way guys they don't fall the normal way let's go very tiny but it's cool nice little setup here hopefully they got what we came for by the way guys they have a lot of desserts here too I'm getting some bread pudding but they got a bunch of other stuff there. so they have no shrimp patty today so I'm gonna get a goat and a lobster and yeah let's see how it goes Wow guys, this is the moment of truth here. Wow. Guys, look at that. That doesn't look like a normal patty, does it? Nope. But anyhow, this is the goat. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so good guys mince goat so this is a curry goat patty mm. of course the lunch was very costly for two patties but don't forget one was goat and one was lobster so that's why yeah guys very good so yeah if you ever feel for something like for lunch here in Kingston come to Devon house and get your patties very unique looking patty super super flavorful tasted patties the lobster is very good too guys nice and crunchy on the outside and the texture of the lobster meat is just perfect very flavorful too I'm gonna be honest though the lobster is just as good as the the shrimp look at it very good guys I could eat this for lunch three times a week easily and not get tired of it very good by the way guys if you're watching right now don't forget drop a comment let me know where's your favorite spot to eat lunch at in Kingston yeah guys that little Devon house bakery is very good I'm actually eating the sweet potato pudding right now and it's very good too easily a night on a day very flavorful whosoever is baking these products know what they're doing tastes really good too so i highly recommend the devon house bakery if you ever feel for lunch and you don't want anything too heavy everything very very good yeah guys so i'm back in the car now and i'm gonna head to my last stop for the day um, after that we're gonna go back to the condo and close the vlog out right there so let's head to mass camp and that's where i'm gonna collect my carnival costumes okay so see you guys at the gen xs distribution center yeah guys we're at the distribution center we're going in let's see what the package is looking like this year Yep. 
It's crazy in here guys. Everybody trying to get their costumes. Juve package guys. We're gonna we're gonna unbag all this at the crib. <laughs> It's crazy, it's a lot of people waiting, but it's kind of organized. Yeah guys, the goodies are here. Yeah guys, it's crazy in there. A lot of copyrighted music playing in there, so couldn't get to do too much filming. But look, this really is for both packages, for the Juve and for the Road March. Seems like a lot of stuff though, freaking heavy. All right, we just go in here uh, and leave them here. Oh boy, yeah, it's cool. Wow, guys, isn't that crazy though? It's packed in there, man. I gotta say though, they're very organized. The thing is flowing smoothly. You check in, you just have to wait till you hear your name call and then boom, you know what I'm saying? So it's all good. We're heading back to the crib now, so I'm gonna probably unpack these things so you guys can see, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind promoting Gen X because they're awesome. Like I said, the very first year they came to Jamaica last year, I went with them and they never disappointed me. So I had to go for them this year. So when I go back to the crib, I'm gonna unbox and uh, unbag all of this stuff. Show you guys and then I close the vlog out there, all right? See you guys at the crib. Wow, guys, I'm so happy to be back inside. We're back inside the crib, guys. We got our groceries over here, you know, so, so unpack them, but this is what I'm more excited about, guys. The carnival stuff, you know? So this is the Juve package here. Let's see. You get, you get, they're advertising these new drinks real hard because they gave us this to drink at the distribution center too. They gave you a cup of soup, I don't know, Maggie promoting this. And um, this is like a mass slash bandana from Gen XX. This to protect your phone because you know Juve is a lot of powder and paint and water. So you know a little phone case and this year official the band you jump with t-shirt and then of course your drinking cup and inside the cup is gonna have like your arm your armband. You can't get in without that. That's how you drink and eat and party. And then Okay, this is what another drinking type of cup uh, They're really promoting this new red stripe e-pine and this other one here If this video gets a million views red stripe I have to cut a check this one tastes better to me than this coconut e pine or coconut and pine or whatever this cranberry tastes better let's see what's going on in here now whoa oh ha ha mr bucket hat you know we have to choose the package that keep you cool in the sun this seems like it's the shorts this is the shirt and the drinking cup so guess what we're ready for the roll oh i forgot about this bag here i don't even know what's in this bag i, I ain't even gonna lie though gen x is the ish whoa more drinking cup look at this a bag full of stuff guys crying water more <laughs> of that coconut and pine drink cereal i'm about to kill it look at that guys soup maggie big sponsor more drink listerine keep the mouth fresh you know yeah man what's this here now hot chocolate or hot cocoa mix looks like it and banana chips whoa everything jumping out here this here is the road cup too jeez what else is in here 
Epsom salt. That's to soak after carnival. What else is in here? That's probably gonna be it, man. More tea bags. But yeah, guys, there you go. That's a rundown of what I collected today. This is my carnival package here. So I threw the t-shirt package here. So it comes with a shorts and a bucket hat, the drinking cup, another drinking cup, plus some carnival sponsored drinks and waters and tea bags and stuff. Now, this is Juve. This is the t-shirt, the cups, the drinks and stuff, you know, so it's pretty decent, man, you know? And just in case you was curious, guys, for the Road March t-shirt package, it was like $425. And for that, you participate in the big day, the road march. And you're gonna have big soca artists performing on the truck. Free drinks all day. And when I say free drinks, Gen X don't shorthand you. You get top shelf, Hennessy, whatever. And also food is inclusive. So all that is 425, you know what I mean? And then for the Ju Juve, it was like $125. You get your t-shirt, your cups, your mask or bandana and you go drink and eat all inclusive, you know? But it's gonna be fun. To me, Juve is the most fun event on any carnival. So that's what I'm really looking forward to. But yeah, man, like I said, I think I'm gonna close the vlog out here because I hadn't really had a long time to like really woosa. And after tonight, it's gonna be nonstop until Monday evening. You know, the big day is Sunday, but um, the band I'm jumping with, Gen XX, they actually have a after carnival cruise, which is like two catamarans filled to capacity because it sold out right after it came out. So that's what we're going to do Monday to close out the carnival season. But you know, of course, I'm taking you guys with me, but that's it for this video. I'm going to close it out here, guys. Um, I think I'm going to close it out by sharing the views here of the hills of Kingston City with you guys, you know? Yep. Amazing, amazing day here in Kingston. Everything went perfect. Give thanks, you know? But yeah, that's gonna be it for another video, guys. Thank you guys again so much for watching, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about today's video or just anything at all, guys feel free to reach out to me you know what i'm saying and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right see you guys on the next episode